there's a threat in the world today, a threat to our way of living, a threat to our society, and maybe even a threat to our very existence. And what is this threat? Welcome back, Black and White Sports. What's happening? What's going on, ass? Chilling. What's up, Juan? Chilling. Chilling. Welcome back, everybody. We look like we're a little bit more centered, I guess I should say. Good, Punk's way. Good thought, Damon. Good thought. Every once in a while, I'll give you a good one. Well, what has been good. going on all week since um, we've last communicated lot. with our a lot's following? Been going on. A lot's been going on, you know. Philly got back on the winning streak. Yeah. Going into Dallas this weekend. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Volume, volume up. Volume control. I find it. Volume control. I hear us. And it won't stop. Where Dude, is it? What are you know. doing? I'm Hit with the X. There. Hit the button. Hit the damn button. All right. <laughs> there we go. All right, folks. Hey, the one, the ass, black and white sports, 802 Southwest Street. We're hanging at the tavern. We got $4 wonderful burger and top combo tonight. For burger black and white. Yes, we're going to have to still come up with the black and white burger. And we didn't do anything with that all week. Not yet. We, well, D Damon, was, Damon was busy. Damon yeah. was busy. Damon was busy. Huh? Stuff happened. All I said was we didn't do anything with it. <laughs> it's all right, man. Hey, it wasn't us a out. criticism. I got you. I got you. Help us out. Think of we're going to put a poll up. We'll put a poll up. Yep. Yep. We'll put a poll up. Well, I guess people. it can't really be a poll. We need more suggestions right. before yeah, we there get you go. to a poll. There you go. Yeah, that's what I meant. Suggestions first. Poll comes next. So hopefully next week after the show, we'll put the poll out. Yeah. All right. There not, you go. Not next week. This week. No, next week we'll put the poll out after this week's suggestions. Okay, okay. Like I you got you. Just said, okay. damn, <laughs> damn. <laughs> uh, so we got well, a lot going on, folks. We had a interesting week. Not really interesting week in college football. It pretty much fell right where you, right where we thought it was going to fall. Yeah, I mean, I, mean I never really gave Georgia any second consideration after the loss. I know people are talking about, nope. you know, they can still get two. I mean, if you got two losses, you shouldn't even really be. Not when you got other, not when you got other teams out there. No, two. I don't care. Two losses should put you out. Period. But that was that was the only really major controversy. We had a a little football news with the um, with. You're the unexpected, expecting. yeah, the unexpected, <laughs> uh, unexpected, expected retirement for yep. Urban. Yep, this is his second one like this. I know he did that after he left Florida. Yeah, but uh, it was right after the Tebow wasn't the yeah. national championship with Tebow. Yep, uh, over was, Ohio State. Yep, and he left out a year. Yep, and then he ended up in uh, OSU. So wasn't that the same year that they played both in the football championship and in the March Man or the championship game of the tournament? Could be. I think in Florida won both. Was Urban, Urban, was Urban there when they went back to back in basketball? I, no, I don't think that was him. Maybe. I think that was Spurrier was there. Uh, Florida? Uh, no. Uh, no. It was before. Because when they went back to back was in uh, what, the late 90s, wasn't it? With Joakim Noah and oh, it was early, early two thousand six ish. Yeah, I think it might be. I think it was earlier two thousand. Nah, I think you're wrong. Okay, <laughs> well, I, I know who was on the team. <laughs> yeah, I remember Joakim Noah. No, that Joakim Noah. But yeah, you think if UCF steamrolls or wins bowl game, they get more consideration next year if they go unbeaten. Jordan, that's from Jordan. What's up, Jordan? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they haven't lost in the last two years. Especially with their best player going down with the injury that he went down with. And they still came back and beat Memphis. 
Uh, and um, they had to save his leg. Yeah, they did. Well, it was, it was a lot more serious than it was just a broken leg. I think he had uh, did some damage to that artery in the leg, so they had emergency surgery because he would have bled out if they if no one was paying attention to it. Yep. Uh -huh. That's awesome. But, Good thing they didn't. I mean, with with the way they showed up against Memphis, because Memphis, the first time they played Memphis, uh, they won by, what, two or I think it was less than three points. And it was a pretty, it was the only game that they had difficult, that was difficult for them. Right. And then they play them again in the um, American Championship uh, championship game. And they were getting beat the whole game. Without their best player. Yeah. Yeah, so. We came I, back and won. I think that, that affected the poll. The uh, voters, with yeah, them being out of there, I think they have affected the vote. The uh, the voters, I think, if they win handily, they'll get a little more consideration when it comes to the season next year. Okay, uh, but I think you're going to have to play some more teams. I agree. And no one recognizes your national championship, but yeah, you, come on, man, that was a little. I mean, don't there's a, a lot. Don't put a painter up there. There's a lot of people who go undefeated that aren't claiming national championships. Right. You put a banner up, you put a, a the, the light board up in your stadium. <laughs> like somebody's going to say, who, who is the 2018 or 20, 2017, 2018 national champion? Right. To not, not say say you say in Florida. <laughs> no. Nope. Not at all. What's up, Julian? Uh, no. But I still agree. I, I do agree that, yes, they should be considered a little bit more. However, I agree also that they need, play, they need to be playing better teams during the regular season to give them those shots. I mean, that's how Boise State got themselves, you know, up into the, the better teams, yep. you know, can get recruits because they weren't just beating up on the other teams. They were coming up and playing bigger teams. The bigger teams didn't want to play them. You got to put yourself in that situation. Right now, I don't see any other major five conference teams being very afraid of UCF. No, I mean, would you be? But they are better. They are, after watching three games of theirs this season, they are better than Crown. ESPN. Yes, that too. Crown. And uh, ESPN. Yes. Please and thank you. Um, whatever, UCF. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, after watching, <laughs> after watching three games um, of them, three, like a little about three games of theirs this season, they are better than with the eye test than what I initially thought. Yeah, they but, are. I mean, I still don't see them being like, oh my god, we need to pay attention to them. Well, that's why the the, the same reason reversed is why. People were still saying that Georgia should be in the top four because of who they played, their schedule, this, that, and the other. Well, if you don't play anybody, you don't have that consideration. That's right. why Georgia was still getting those consider those considerations into the top four when, no, you had two losses. You got Oklahoma with one. You had Ohio State with one. No. Right. I mean – and then you, I mean, if you're going to put in a two loss Georgia, you have to put in a zero loss UCF. I agree. I agree. Six teams. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be those six teams this year, yeah. but still. Right. right. Thank you. Espen. It's on Espen. It's, in, it's, it's on, on Espen. Espen. Hey, Ange, how was Taco Tuesday last night? Taco Tuesday, folks. So you need to come out and get some fabulous taco. Dan has endorsed the taco quite heavily. What? Endorsed the taco. You yes. had the taco. Oh, yes. Yes, I have. Oh, I didn't, didn't understand what you were going with that. No, it was pretty simple. You know, <laughs> I was talking about Taco Tuesday. Dan endorsed the tacos. Oh, I don't mean, really know what else to tell Hold on, hold on. Trey Davis, Notre Dame, Notre Dame what? Um, what apparently, was he say here? He's probably saying, well, why don't you guys talk about another day? Oh, okay. Uh, well, well, okay. I have no problem talking about that. I don't got a problem with it. No, oh, because you still owe me a bet. I, no, I'm, still, I'm still holding on to that, man. <laughs> I'm still holding on I don't on have that. a problem talking about them. I, I what think uh, now that they are one of the four best teams in in the uh, in the country. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't really – I name me one other team that can knock one of those out. I don't see why you can't. 
they're gonna knock each other though. Yeah. Out. So, um, so speaking of while we're while we're talking about the top four, I put a question out. Uh, what was it, earlier this week? Earlier this week. That is true. And I want to hear your guys' thoughts on overall, overall game wise. Which one do you think will be the better game to watch? The number one versus number four, Oklahoma, Alabama, or the two and three, Clemson and Notre Dame? I still think, biased or non-biased, Notre Dame and Clemson is going to be a better game. I'm leaning more towards the uh, Oklahoma-Alabama game. There's a lot of offense. A lot of offense, and I want to see how the I mean how the um, the Big Twelve holds up to a SEC defense. <laughs> well, they're not used to playing defense over there in the Big Twelve. Hey, hey that's why I, I want to see. I want to see. You know what I mean? Are you are you really a top four team? You know what I mean? Just you know, let me let me see it. I'm I'm leaning towards that because Oklahoma is dynamic. You have the top two the top two front runners for the Heisman. Going in that game as well, but by that time we'll know is he playing? Who? Tua. Tua is he a play? Man, you got a month. I'm I'm with you, but you got a whole. How bad was the sprain? I mean, you got a whole month. How bad's the sprain? That's man, you got a whole, man, they got NFL trainers, dog. That's Alabama. That's not. Uh, <laughs> is that man, it's not Central Alabama State Catholic. <laughs> I can't. I, okay, Trey Davis. You got to tell me who fan you are of because I, I'm getting mixed emotions here. <laughs> I do know who's a Pittsburgh fan. <laughs> Wrong side of the state. Oh, my God. And Renly is such the most adorable baby. The what? Renly. Oh, most adorable okay. Baby. I, didn't under, I didn't hear the first That's part. His daughter. Okay. Now I get it. Good. Good. That's my nephew. Good. You know, oh, okay. Trey is your nephew. Yes. I get you now. Well, it can't be Brindley since it's a girl. You never know this day and age. Well, I did say nephew. What? <laughs> anyway. So anyway, Julian <laughs> said me. I'm going to sit on my shoulder. I guess we're supposed to talk about him. I don't know. Why are we talking about you? Who knows? What's up, Courtney? Uh, one in four. Uh, Julian said he's looking at Oklahoma and Alabama. Now, I'm, I'm not discrediting. The um, Alabama Clemson game, you mean the Clemson Notre Dame? Game? Yes, the Clemson Notre Dame game. Not just printed at all. Not just gave I, him I, don't, I, don't, eyes, I don't know if Notre Dame's defense can. <laughs> 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 I don't know if Notre Dame's defense can keep up with that offensive juggernaut that and Clemson what, is. But I think it's going to be the matchup. I mean, it's going to be good. I mean, it kind of goes the same way, you know. It does. It does. Okay, so I am biased a little bit. So yeah, you I'm are Notre Dame and Clemson. It's but, okay. You know, hey, well, obviously, I'm going to take Notre Dame over Clemson. Ooh, that got a little loud. I'm sorry, folks. Notre Dame over Clemson, and I'm going to say it's going to be six. I mean, it's still a little early to talk about that. I'm still – I'm calling it now, dude. I'm I mean, calling it now. I mean, that's fine. You, you're going to call it you know, now. I mean, you knew who you picked, you know, yeah. in September. So <laughs> – Oh, he's a Pittsburgh fan. That's what he is. Me. Me. Come on, Damon. Stay with it. Stay with it. <laughs> who does say I didn't say who's a Pittsburgh fan. I said he's a Pittsburgh fan. Talking about Trey. I that is he's true. He's a Pittsburgh that is true. fan. You're a son, not a son. Don't you. correct me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um,. Yeah, but we we can we'll get. I know. I just a, wanted to say Notre Dame was going to win. Yeah, we can get. We got like a couple of weeks, so we got a couple of shows, and it does not. The holiday season does not affect our show. Nope. Because uh, we do Wednesdays and Christmas is on Tuesday. Yep. And maybe I'm off that on. week and the next I'm week. I'm off. You're off what? Uh, Christmas Day and the day after. New okay. Year's Day and the day after. Cool. I'm off those two weeks. I yep. can't wait. So awesome. So we'll still be here and we can get more in depth into that. Uh sound is off. What is sound off, Courtney? Courtney sound off. Out. Sound off. You should sound is what? Your sound is off. I know, that's what I just asked her. Can anybody hear us? Sorry. 
<laughs> it's a time for the confusion. Not for you. Oh, I get it. Okay. We're, I'm going to stop looking at the screen for a second. <laughs> the screen will be up. Right. Right. Damn. Damn. But anyway, back to our list. Fix your sound. I, she's replying to him. She's replying to Julian, not us. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good, right? Yes. Uh, check your up. tone. Thank check you. your tone. <laughs> check your tone. All right. So, uh, but since we are talking about college football real quick, there is one notable game this week. It is the Army Navy game. Yep. Um, Speak I'm, sit back a little bit. Okay. Does that is this better, right, folks? Is right. that better? See, yeah, better. Let you, us know. I told you it was too loud. I told you it was too loud. I told you it was too loud. I told you I am turn you off. <laughs> you can't hear it. I ain't. Turn, what? I'm out. You phased me out. <laughs> you phased me out. How is that? We're good. We're good. I think we're good. All right. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. How is that? So Army Navy. Uh, I think Army. Oh, Army. I think Army is the better of the teams, but I tend to lean more towards the shipmen and the Marines than I do the Army and the Air Force. So I'm going to go with Navy. Okay. Well, we agree to disagree on that game, folks. You know, because I, think I, was, you, I really don't want to give a shit. To no, it's I don't either. Way. I don't. You got to cheer for these guys who. In a year, are going to be on somebody's ship or somebody's battlefield. So, right. Okay. I give them a go, America. <laughs> like a Woe Bundy. Everybody hands in. I get a Woe right. America. Everybody. Woo. <laughs> but thank you guys. Yes, you. Andrew. What up, Woe? What's going on? Nice to see you uh, joined in. What up, what up? Uh, old work buddy. Cool. It's pretty good. Cool. Nice guy. Cool. Didn't know he was a sports fella. Mm -hmm. You know now. What, you know what I mean? You know now. We bring everybody together. We do. Get it? So, um, see, we haven't really talked much <laughs> about. <laughs> we haven't really talked much about Heisman this year. Not yet. Um, it's kind of been a two a two horse race for mm -hmm. pretty much most of the year. There was spurts, uh, and Haskins is still is it ha Hopkins? Haskins. He's Haskins. the third. He's the he's third. The guy. third. He's, he's been in it, and then he. Kind of came out of it for a little bit. I mean, sitting behind. And then, thank you. Angie. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was kind of, woo. Yeah. Oh, man, wow. That was the a tavern hard. gives them good. All right, and, uh, who? yeah. Um, <laughs> Heisman. 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 Yeah, I was getting there. I was getting there. I was stuttering. Well, he's been hot. He has like really high since the Purdue game. Since Purdue, yep, I agree. So I mean, but I he's, man, he's broken all kind of records, like he ridiculous. Has. And there's like ridiculous records for quarterbacks at OSU, and for him to be doing what he's doing, I think he's what a redshirt sophomore. Junior. Or was he a true? Was he a true mm, freshman last year? I thought he was a junior this year. Red shirt, sophomore, junior. That's what I'm saying. But that, no, thing. if you red shirted, you red shirted. <laughs> You're still your third year, but you you were in as a freshman. Whatever, I don't care. Yeah, I know you don't care. Shut up, Damon. So, but since we're on that, uh, the question that I saw on Twitter when I was scrolling um, earlier today, it was on the Michigan page. They were asking the question. Um, about Urban leaving OSU, uh, mm -hmm. do you – is it good riddance or is it, man, I want to beat him first? What do you think? I mean, what uh, you do? Me, personally, I wanted to beat him first. Yeah, I'm with you. I would have. You know, I mean, it was, it was kind of over, uh, over lopsided, you know, on the poll with, you know, them wanting to beat them. But you know, I looked at it when, when I heard it. I looked at it and said, Ooh, Jim Harbaugh finally gets a win against OSU. <laughs> <laughs> that was my smart ass, unhappy. Wow. If I was the alumni comment, that I would be in the email. I got you. <laughs> I got you. No, you know, it's, it's very unfortunate about his health because, like we were talking earlier, it's it's got to be deeper than what people is in the public know about. Um, so, you know, thoughts go out to him. Hope everything goes well, whatever happens. Um, but 
I'm not a big fan of the guy, but I don't wish any ill will on any ill right. health on anybody. Right. Karma's so, a bitch, man. That comes back. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm good. I'm good yeah, on that. I'm with you. No. Um, now, uh, as far as it goes for the program, yeah, I hope it freaking th- buries you. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're. I think they're in good hands. Um, what was it Ryan? Was he the offensive coordinator? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Yes. Ryan Dane? No. I'm bad with names, man. Know. But no one ever remembers the second guy. Well, he's going to be first, and I think he's going to be a damn good first, honestly. Because we're losing our first guy, too. Our offensive coordinator is going to Central Michigan. Wow. Head coach? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, it's good news for people, per, you know, personally. Maybe. So, um, with that, uh, I don't know. What is your son talking about? I don't know, man. <laughs> Anyway, there's something wrong with the white one. He's probably talking about you. Well, that's what I was thinking, but he kind of just stopped there. So I was waiting on something else to come through. Well, he can't speak too bad about half himself. So it's true. So, uh, Tua, uh, Tua, Tua got hurt. Yeah. In the Georgia game. Yes. Hell of a game. Yeah. Wish, and, wish Georgia wouldn't would have just held on just to see what kind of. Crap would happen in the top four then. I mean, when it, when it comes down to it, when you're playing, hey, LeBron's on. Uh, when it comes down to it, playing against Ooh. Alabama, you above playing against the best athletes and the best players in, in college football, right? You're also playing against the best mind in college football. So, they can Georgia stood up to them they athletically did. the whole game, um, player wise. But it just came down to coaching, man. Nick Saban doesn't get he gets the credit. He doesn't get the credit for being uh, um, a good coach. He gets the credit for having great talent. Mm-hmm. But I think I mean, doesn't that lead to good recruiting though? It does. Doesn't that lead to good coaching? I mean, not all good recruiters are good coaches. I'm not right. saying that. Right. But I'm saying if you have a few, if you have a a good part of one and a good part of an, the, the other, man, mm-hmm. you're in. You're I mean, tough. he's got it. I mean, yeah. he's he's his recruiting tool was that he won wherever he went. He was a winner at uh, Michigan State. Mm-hmm. He won at LSU. So mm-hmm. it was pretty much a foregone conclusion that kids were going to come to him when he even went over to Alabama. Right. And all you had to do is just put. You know, a couple of ten win seasons and a national championship in there, and you're going to get these kids. Right. The one who wants to go, you got Alabama in the South, so you play in at least seventy degree weather all year, or you can come up north and play in any of the schools up here. Right. And ten degree yeah. weather. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I get it, man. I get it. You know, that's like, that's that's probably a good reason why the Big Ten is losing. I don't want to say is losing, but has lost recruits in the past because you think of, like you said, who wants to go play in South Bend or Ann Arbor or, or Chicago or but the Big, Ten, the Big Ten recruits off tradition in their area. Yeah, I know. And it, and it works for them because, I mean, you look at you look at Michigan now or even as even when they weren't doing so well with the Rodriguez and the uh, Brady Hoke years, Rich. you were still getting <laughs> you were still getting your local recruits yeah, the same yeah. way with OSU, Penn State. They were going somewhere I, else, though. I mean, some kids were going in other words, but you just, you know. No, I'm saying they may, go, not, they may not have went to Michigan. They were in Ohio State. or yeah. they, they stayed in the conference. Yeah, they stayed yeah, in the I conference, one, because those are the schools that they grew up watching. Right, and that's the brand of football that they played even down into the big leagues because of their area. Well, and see, nowadays you got the you got a Big Ten um, network, you got a Pac-12 network, yep. you got all those networks that are driving people to watch. It's like, okay, damn, I want to play there. You know, they're not the Midwest is 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 kind of just sulking somewhat in the coasts. Yeah, they they stick with what they do. You know, um, the Southern players tend to go, you know, south and west. You know, uh, the Midwest guys tend to stick in the Midwest. You know, there's a couple of them that have ventured down south. 
but most of them stay in the Midwest, so they go to the big time programs in the Midwest. So right, okay. Well. <clears throat> so I don't, I don't really think the recruiting is going to hurt him. It was going to hurt them much because they'll still be able to recruit in the Ohio area. Yeah, especially with that being the major, major school up there in Do Ohio. Do you think that's going to cause some? Prospects to switch. Yes. Where do you think they go from there? Do you uh, want to play with Harbaugh? I mean, in the, in the kid's mind. Okay. I was going to go to Ohio State. They lost Urban Meyer. Now there's Michigan. Okay. Do I want to go to somebody that can't beat these certain teams all the time? Okay. Who am I going to go to? So you might go. To, think, you I might think. flood into South Bend. You may flood down to Kentucky where they're coming up. I think if you don't, if you're a recruit and you if you're an offensive recruit and you have committed to OSU, I think that if you decommit, you're going to go south because he has a SEC-style offense in the Big Ten. Yeah, okay. So okay. I feel that those offensively, they'll go, Stop, Pops. they'll go south. Yeah. Um, there are very few teams that play that type of football in the Big Ten or the Midwest. So, but if you're a defensive player, I think you stay. I think you stay put somewhere in um, in the Midwest. Okay. Well, Penn State's linebacker university. Yeah, so I mean, Penn State will pull some. Notre Dame will pull some. Um, I'm not sure how much Michigan will pull from those. Very few recruits flip flop between those two schools because even when you're being recruited, you start to build that hatred. Right. So you're not going to have too many that go back and forth that way. Right. And I just, you I mean, why am I going to go to you if you can't beat this team? So I'm going to go somewhere else. Well, I, I agree. see that happening. I agree. So so while we're kind of on this whole college mix and recruiting and, and Urban Meyer retiring, quote, unquote, <laughs> let's, I'm going to bring up something that I heard yesterday. It sounds like the Inquirer. Well, it may be. But I heard it, so I'm, and I'm not saying, folks, I'm not saying that we said it. I'm just sending a message from what I heard. There's, <laughs> he said, are you singing the background music? Yes, I am. <laughs> so I heard that there's a rumor floating around that Green Bay is interested or there is interest from Brian Kelly from Notre Dame to go to Green Bay. Would I like it? You know, I don't know. I got mixed emotions about Brian Kelly since day one. No, he has no mixed emotions. He does not like him. Regardless wherever they sit in this final four or how they finish this year, he doesn't like him. That's the so the only, way, the only reason why I'm calling him out, the only reason why he's <laughs> talking about this story is the fact that there's an opportunity that Brian Kelly cannot be at Notre Dame. Possible? No, it's, it's not possible. possible. That is it. That is the only. He doesn't give a shit about okay. Green Bay. <laughs> Twelve and four. And I can tell you, Chris probably doesn't want him either. Because if I'm not mistaken, Chris is a Notre Dame fan, and he's not a fan of Brian Kelly either. Correct. So I'm sure he doesn't want him in Green well, Bay. Well, he, he might be better than Mike McCarthy. However, Mike McCarthy did bring you a Super Bowl title, and he. That's did. why I did not believe. I I couldn't believe. That you let him go in the middle of the season. Hey, but I'm hearing a lot more uh, in, in behind the scenes stuff going on in Green Bay. Well, yeah, like, I mean, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers is not Aaron Rodgers is not a light person. No, like if you tell you say something about Aaron, man, ownership is like coffee. Yeah, baffling. Yeah. And then you got people who don't like you but don't want to say them because they're gonna get X. Right. Well, you know, it's possibility. Prima donnas, man. Prima donnas. However. The the opportunity. <laughs> what? Chris is, hell no, no, sir, no, no, sir, boy. He is emphatic about this. No. So what I heard also, well, no, I didn't hear this part, but the speculations have been there the past two years about when Brian Kelly gets released, fired, tra you know, sent off to wherever to coach that Urban Meyer would be interested in the Notre Dame coaching job. And I'm just saying, I'm just fan speculation. This is all we do, okay? I'm telling you, there's a possibility that we can see, like, deja vu type stuff coming where Urban Meyer ends up in South Bend. 
Listen, I do, I'm, listen. Am I saying I would technically I, like I, it? I mean, I'm, I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking you're just trying to do some uh, gray alien finding. You know, <laughs> you're out here searching for. You saw a forbidden stone that leads you to some markings that follow Bigfoot. I don't yeah, know, man. Urban Meyer hit his pinnacle job. He did. That was the job was he it, always man? wanted. Was it the? Yeah. <laughs> Being from Ohio, that was the only job that he wanted. That was it. That was his dream job. And I'm not really seeing him coming out to go to the Golden Domers. And then for one, I just don't see the Golden Domers going after a guy like that. We may see. He might sit down and yeah, get, yeah, get, get his head right you know and I mean, make sure everything's good. All right, and, then, the and then watch. Notre Dame comes out next year and, and goes 4-8 and eight again. Brian Kelly's cut. Urban Meyer gets brought in by the alumni because you know them South, boy, them South Bend alumni boys, they got some money behind everything down there, up there. And then why'd you end up with Brian Kelly? Well, he was so, All right. he was so good for okay. Cincinnati. Right. <laughs> Cincinnati. You coming Cincinnati to me for like that? I don't even really like the guy. This is a ridiculous, this is a ridiculous story. This is a, a, a crouching tiger run on top of the tree limb story. You got you know? something else, man? You got, you got a fishing story as good as mine? <laughs> story as good as mine. That damn fish was this big. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> it was mounted on the wall singing, don't worry. <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, I heard they bought the fish back. The, the singing they, fish? Yes. Yes. The bass, they, they did. They bought the bass. bass. Yeah. They did. They did. And it's like. They did. G, uh, USB now. <laughs> hey, by the way, let's talk about the guy behind us because Damon hates this. This guy behind us in the in the picture up top here behind the bar. This hey. used to be. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you about the tavern. It up from Southwest Street where we're at and out on Wednesday nights. Four dollar pints. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like it. So anyway, this used to be a pharmacy way back in the day. And that guy supposedly sold drugs. He, well, he, he, no, it's not supposed. He did sell the drugs here, folks. But this guy supposedly kind of stays around. His spirit stays around here. So if you ever see somebody waving from the picture behind us, man, let us know. So we can call ghost hunters out here and get them out here. Because Damon is freaked out by this guy. You don't no, know. Look there's no point. You know why? Why? You know what I mean? If it's supposed to be you creepy vibes... You remember well, Ghostbusters 2? You remember Ghostbusters 2 when he looked into the eyes of Vigo? Vigo. 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 Next thing you know, he's possessed by Vigo. I'm good. <laughs> I got my own demons. I don't need no new ones. Uh, I got you. I got you there. So, I, since we've heard that story, I have yet to look at this picture. Man, Julian just said he flipped this off. I believe that. He's talking to your dad right there. Because he likes me. Well, right. fist bump. Boom. See, right. I'll go. break it. I'll break that finger. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can do all the hard you want. Yeah. Well, I daddy. Yeah. <laughs> daddy Chrissy popped in. She must have just got Jasmine in the bed. Nope. Nope. Too early. Yeah. All right. So, so Jasmine's one who's at mom. Dad's on the radio. <laughs> I believe it. So, let's talk about some pros. The pros knows um, sucky ass Steelers is going against the Raiders. I mean, I would assume you can beat the Raiders. I thought that they were going to come back home after that the loss in Denver. And I mean, you were home, home, but man. freaking sixteen at halftime and didn't score until three minutes to go in the game. Mister Mister Mike Brady himself, hey, Philip Rivers, got that there and said, hey, "Let's <laughs> talk about the the mastery of you like that." The demassery. Demassery means the study of being a dumbass. Wow. <laughs> we must be talking about Kansas City. No, we're still talking about Pittsburgh. We're going to oh, talk about their okay. defense. Oh, wow. They get the come on man of the year. So far. All right, so the Chargers are going to kick a field goal. <laughs> he misses the field goal, which will put you in the overtime. Yep. Probably going to win. Off sides. <laughs> Neutral zone infractions. Yes. So move them up five. You gotta kick it again. So he kicks it again and you block it. 
and you are and you're outside the side again. <laughs> so they move him up. And then you kick another field goal. This time he goes in, but you're offside for the third time. I think, we'll should, find that one. I think that should be some uh, game check penalties. Oh, man. That has you up three times. You got lucky. Same guy was twice, right? I think it was the whole damn left well, side. The whole left the side, the one time jump, I mean, three seconds before the ball was hiked. But wow, man. Wow. Come on, man. Courtney said good night, Dan. She said good night, Dad, from Eli. Oh. Ooh, I can't read. Good night, buddy. Read. He can't read. Good night, buddy. He can't read. I'll be on the, be on the forehead when I get home. You're not talking about we're Mexican not, wings? Nope. We're not talking about that. We're, we're talking, talking about, about Mexicans? We're talking about We're talking okay. about sports. We're talking about $4 pints. We're talking about $4 burger and tots. And we're talking about whatever that lady said because I got big headphones on and I can't hear. All right, yes. Something about not Thursday. Okay. I don't know. All right. We just got a random woo from a random person. Yeah, couldn't hear anything. All right, so uh, John Wayne. What up, John? So what were we talking about? We were going to the pros. Um, Steelers, okay. We obviously <laughs> we think that, about Steelers. Yeah, we're obviously <laughs> they're going to win that game. I hope. Uh, Coats and the Texans, big game. Big, big game. Big game. Big game for the AFC South. Big game. The game Houston's on like what nine. an eight nine game winning nine. streak. Nine went, they went all three. No one is really talking about them. All in three, and they win the last nine games. And like you said, it's silent. Wow, <laughs> folks, this is why you check us out on the live feed because then you get to see. Dude, I do that on, every do time that the version comes out. Every time. <laughs> And I blame the voice. The voice. <laughs> wow. Yes, I blame the voice. So, big game. Big game. Uh, so Coach, Coach are looking. They, mm, mm, last game didn't look too good, but before that, they did pretty well. The game's in Houston. It's right? in Houston? I don't know, man. Yeah. You couldn't put up one offensive touchdown at all. Against. You didn't put a field goal up. Yeah. Against the Jags, yeah. that's I mean the Jags all of a sudden the defense showed up. But Last still, two games. you didn't put a point up. I mean you were putting up ridiculous numbers, and you Andrews throwing three touchdowns a game. That streak is over with. I mean you put up a couple three hundred yard games. That's over with. Yeah. Your defense did hold them only the six points, but still they don't have a quarterback. Jacksonville does not have a quarterback. No, Jacksonville's quarterback is in the top first five picks of the draft next year. Blake Bortles is out of there, dog. Well, he wasn't even playing. It was a backup. Yeah. I don't even remember his name. They're all out of there. They're revamping it. I wouldn't be surprised if Patrick Ramsey gets traded. Ooh. Where's he going to go? Is he going to come to Indy? They're only going to be able to afford Le'Veon. Are they going to get him? I don't know. Le'Veon's been tweeting about it. <laughs> I like John. Congrats to the ass. Eight show streak with no hiccups. Don't you do jinx me, damn it. <laughs> Take a big drink of that beer. <laughs> we'll do it. We're good. We're good. So, Jasmine says hello. Hello, Jasmine. I love you, baby. I love you. <laughs> Hope you like your, ba your, uh, basketball. Ba your basketball present. Basketball. Oh, your, your, your birthday Christmas present from wow. Uncle Dan and Aunt Courtney. Uncle Dan. <laughs> Uncle One. Man. Uncle One. Uncle One. I think that's like a Chinese movie. Uncle I, One. Why don't you take a drink? No. <laughs> Damn. No, we're not. Because we were talking about the Colts wow. and the Texans. I really want to go for the Colts in this game. I, I can't, man. But I'm going go, go with the hot team. And J.J. Watts, home. man. J.J. Watts, bad man. And he's on. I mean, it's not even really now. him, man. It's, the, the it's like that, that whole saying. defense. Dude, Watts on fire. Watts on fire right now. I mean, I guess he's. A, <laughs> I was going to do a bad pun with some electricity and some wattage. <laughs> 
but it didn't really work like it did in my head, so I, <laughs> I chose not to say it over the airwaves. <laughs> I don't know if it was going to make me sound creepy or gay, so I wasn't uh, quite sure, so I left it alone. There you go. That's the best thing to do. <laughs> So there it is again. I mean, is that like the only sponsor to this game? <laughs> Must I don't be. even know. Was it Dior? Dior? Does anybody even wear Dior? Oh, if you wear Dior, tell us, everybody. We want to hear you. I want to know who wears Dior. Maybe we can get them to sponsor. Is it? Is it Dior? Dior? Is it Dior? Dior. <laughs> I mean, it spells Dior in French. It's Dior. In French. It's Dior. Dior. Wow. You gotta say it like Johnny Depp. You know what I mean? I'm done. I'm good on you. Do it. Do it. Dior. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. I heard that go off. (laughs) I'm a snake. (laughs) Seriously, guys. (laughs) All right. So next we got, ooh, another game. Yeah. For your Eagles and your brother's Cowboys. How how does this work? I want to know how do you guys. Grew up in the coach household, and one of you is an Eagle fan, and the other is a Cowboy fan. Well, because my dad was a football fan, he wasn't a Colts fan. No, okay. he was a football fan, and my older cousin is a Cowboy fan. So I had to grow up on Sundays watching this <laughs> god awful star all the time. I started watching Reggie White, Randall Cunningham. Uh, Seth Joyner, you know, all them old Mike school. Mike uh, Well, kind of, he might have still been. No, I think he went to Miami by the time I was, like, watching them. But close, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just started watching that team, and I'm like, you know what? That's my team. And then, of course, Sean at the time, when he's coming up, he's he's getting to be, what, uh, let's see, four, five, six, seven. So he's right in the middle so of the Emmett. And he's in uh, Emmett, Aikman, Irvin, you know, that whole time. So he's in the cocaine and hookers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at an early age, folks. <laughs> so, hey, I guess we found out somebody who wears Dior. John said <laughs> he fans. I mean, he fans <laughs> wear Dior. That's good, man. That's good. I like that. Dior. Dior. <laughs> Get that Zoolander. Right. Dior. <laughs> Dior. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. But anyway. Yes, um, he did. Randall so, Cunningham, the Rocket Man. The Cowboys are looking pretty good right now. They're one game ahead of the Eagles. Um, Eagles have played well the last two games. No, they played good last night. Or Monday night. But you won the last two we games. won the last two games. So, in my eyes, you play well because yeah. their division wins, right? Yeah. All right, so those really we're, matter. We're three and zero in our division, or three and one. I'm sorry, three and one. Uh-huh. And, and the one, one came from the Dallas. Cowboys, right? Yep, at our field. Right, so we're, we're, we're going. going uh, we're going to Dallas, uh, and see. we're going to take the W. We're going to take the division, and I'm going to say this to every Cowboy fan out there. I said it. Now I, I'm that you. You missed it. You were looking over that way. I'll have to edit it later. I'm going Cowboys. You're a dick. <laughs> <sighs> here's I'm, here's I'm, my I'm, weekly. <laughs> shut up, Damon. I mean, I'm sorry. The, the, the one they're playing better, and you, you know how much I hate saying that. One they're playing better. <laughs> That's pretty much it. One they're playing better, two they're at home. Okay. I, I think I think they do. I mean, I should go pee just to just to get rid of him. That's fine. That way we can sit here and trash <laughs> the English football season. Man, Sean's not on here tonight, right now. I, don't I see, see that. Him, so. I see that he's not taking in. He must be out napping in it. Yeah, uh, not yet. I don't think yet. No, he might be doing the daddy thing tonight. Maybe he's. I don't know. Uh, oh well. Yeah. Shut but up, I got, Sean. Anyway, yeah, I got the Cowboys. I got the Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly, baby, all day long. Are you supposed to? They're going to win regardless. If I was a fan or not, they're going to win, damn it. All right. Well, good. <laughs> good. What's up, Christy Dager? Not Christy Stevens. She's already on. Okay. Well, maybe. She might have cut out by now. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, Angie seems to be ignoring us tonight. But it's okay. She's got a nice crowd. Uh, I see a couple heads turning to see what we got going on. Uh, just 
Yep, drop yep. us a line on Facebook Live, and you can see exactly what we got going on. But That's right. Hold on. Chris agrees with Damon. <laughs> Chris agrees with Damon. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to the wife because her and I flip flopped in the office pool. Oh wow! This week, she's up. She up is now. Room, she now. is now in fourth, and I am now in you sixth. Dropped and we flip flopped three places. And I, I missed eight games. But lucky there's like a couple weeks left. I can still jump back in. But that's what you that's know, what my plan is. If she wins, I win. If I win, she wins. Right. You know. So right. So that's my plan. Yeah, so you're out, bro. No, no, nobody's out yet. You're out. Nobody's out yet. You're like mathematically. You're like the Cleveland Browns. You're Not mathematically true. out. Not true. Not true. <laughs> okay. So remember Wednesday night. I'm sorry. I'm moving the camera again, folks. Wednesday nights. The Tavern, 802 Southwest Street, Indianapolis. Come on down. Check us out live here. Be with us. Yell at us. Shout at us. Do whatever you want to us. Flip us off. I don't care. We watch you. You know, I can't hear, so it's a good thing. And we're going to we're going to flip over to basketball. And speaking of real quick, Raptors and the Sixers getting ready to tip off, folks. Hey, man, did Kawhi Leonard come back this season? <laughs> so was he so <laughs> I wish hey. I had the button to play that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean just after after the last year, so that further shows me that Kawhi Leonard was not all that hurt last year. No, he just said he just I wasn't playing for him. So I wanna know since Popovich is supposed to have the 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 uh, what do you have? The Empire, then you have the Rebels. So yeah. I guess Papa supposed to lead the Rebels. You know, everybody wants to play for San Antonio, right? So what was the the behind the scenes issue with Kawhi Leonard and Popovich? Something obviously. Yeah, everybody speak highly of Popovich, even was, after they're was, gone and was retired. Was Duncan there a, a, a one year? He was there one year. Uh, right. Yes. Or was it two? Yeah, his last year. I think okay, his, his last, last year, year was Kawhi's rookie year. Yes. Okay. So he had good leadership that year, and they were a damn good team. Didn't they go to the semis? Yeah. Uh, yeah. For the moment. What? Huh? What? Two? What? Where? Twelve? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I heard. I get it now. <laughs> so. Um, See, folks, I can't hear. <laughs> So, um, he, Toronto is playing outstanding. Yeah. I, for some reason, I was under the impression that they were not going to be that good. But the the roles have changed for some of the players on the team with Kawhi Leonard being there. Um, our, uh, Landry is now back to his role as a where he should have been traditional point guard. Yep, who doesn't have to score, even though he can give you thirty at any minute. Yep. But I like what they got going on. Uh, Green comes over with Kawhi Leonard, and he's shooting the ball with outstanding. I think I heard something on Facebook the other day. Does is he ever not on? Who <laughs> Green? What? Green? No, I mean, on. was he ever not? He's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does he never? I mean, has he ever been in a shooting slump in his career? Man. Not to say he lights it up, but he always makes he's, his shots. He's consistently. <laughs> he's not going to North Carolina. I want to say he was. He was. Yeah. So, I don't know. Um, I like what Toronto's got going on. I still uh, believe in what the Pacers can do coming out the East. It's a little harder right now with uh, Oladipo being out indefinitely. That word indefinitely right. is so vague. It is because they don't. I mean, they, they could be know. they could be one day or it could be yeah the they rest they don't of the know. season. They they need to get tests done and you know I haven't heard any recent talk of you on as far as what how how deep all I got is. is sore knee. Yeah, that's all I hear. No, he's out and definitely with sore knee. That's all so I got. Maybe it's his time to rest for the season. Know, maybe it is, or maybe he's gonna he's got to do a promotional tour for his second yeah, album for his R and B his second album. <laughs> Man. But I still like what the Pacers have going on. They're still playing good ball. Uh, Sabonis is, what, one of ten players to be averaging a double-double. Yes. Um, and yes. he's not even starting. No. So. 
and a lot of people say, you know, Miles should be sitting. Sabonis should be starting for Miles. You know what I mean? It's like, Miles had a lot. Of, hey, he had a, 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 an effective couple good games. He's had uh, back, back-to-back double-doubles, I think, himself. Yeah, he stepped so. up. I mean, people give him time. People forget when you're, what, 20, 22, 23 years old? You need a little... You need a little pick me up sometimes, regardless. Even if you are a professional athlete or whatever, mm-hmm. you still need that. I mean, you're a kid still, man. Yeah, you're there's kid. some things that need to strike your fire. Yeah. You know what I mean? You get you. It's it's natural as an athlete to get to uh, the level that you want to get, and you get a little complacent. You get a little settled. So every once in a while, you need something to strike your fire. To um to get it back in, you yep. know, my daughter's going through it right now with um her AAU. You know, I mean, she got a little comfortable, mm-hmm. and then some adjustments were made in the teams, and it's kind of lit her fire again. You know, sometimes you gotta, you know, get to stroke the poker, coals. Yeah, just you gotta stroke yeah. the coals. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> So, hey, you and basketball, since we're talking basketball real quick, shout out to Irvington Elementary School Lady Ravens. We did, uh, we finished our season last night. Great season. See you Saturday. Boys are coming up after, after, uh, break. So that's all I got. I'm gonna have to go back and look at that, John. I didn't see, uh, Victor's impersonation of Akon. I'm I sure that would be quite an Why don't you awesome. share it? Why don't you share it? Share the link to this comment session. And um, he is asking who is the I second team to the Warriors. I've seen that. Even though the Warriors are, what, fourth right now? Man. Uh, they're, they're, the West is, is shaking up a lot differently. Yeah, the East is starting to, to starting to come up, and the West is starting to kind of – I mean, you got all kinds of shit going wrong with uh, Draymond and Durant. Well, that I think that's pretty much washed uh, washed under the bridge. Uh, for Golden, now. Golden State, I for think now, I, they win too much for stuff like that to really affect them, you know. And I think Draymond Green is starting to see that he's the expendable one of the bunch. Finally, so, <laughs> I don't. Is that a hiccup, folks? No, that was a belch that I didn't want to <laughs> let out over the airwaves. <laughs> It might have gotten me an eight. Ah, that was that good. Deep, huh? Yeah, felt okay. pretty good. All right. Um, so right now the the East falls out to how we kind of thought it was going to be. It's going to be very top heavy. Yeah. Uh, the West is sporadic, man. I mean, we knew the West was going to be a pretty tough eight teams to get to the playoffs, but I didn't think it was going to be these teams. But it's still before the All Star game. And I, I think the West will eventually turn itself around. I don't see the Clippers and Denver continuing to be towards the top. Of, well, you know, since is, of since the West. Uh, since was a Butler left Minnesota, you haven't heard much of Minnesota. No, I mean that was just the the, the talk of the town, and then all of a sudden he leaves, <laughs> goes to Philly. And then it's kind of like the, the talk that you heard from Minnesota was not good. Was talk. The, well, well, true. It was all the controversy with Butler. I mean, but Butler's one of those. He he is a direct product of, from the old school. I'm not saying he's an old school player, but he's a direct product from the old school. He has that Kobe mentality. If you're not working as hard as I am, then you're not working hard. Yeah. I mean, Carl Anthony Towns, you got way too much time, too much talent. To be, yeah, maybe I'll give you a double double, two, three game, right. and then I'll disappear I'll for give two, you three, three points. Yeah, so I've, I've felt this frustration. Um, but you, as a, a great player, is a great leader. So you're supposed to set an example for these young players coming in to play one or two years college ball. You're supposed to be setting the example for these young players and how to be a professional, how to come to work, and how to play. 100% on the floor every game. Right. So it seems like to me that you didn't want that responsibility, so you're just going to demand a trade and then push off to somewhere else I where, agree. you know, you're still going to be in that same situation. I it may not be your team. It might be Joe LB's in team, Joe L. Embiid's team, but you're still the veteran on that team. You're still supposed to lead, show these guys how to be pros. Right. So. 
They got a lot of young talent over there in Philly, though. They do. They, they got more talent. talent. They got more talent than they need, and they're having the same issues they had last year with Marquez Falk. Falk. Yeah. I was questioning why you picked him number one. Did he get hurt? What happened to him? I don't really what know happened? what happened last year. No, no, no. What just happened? What recently happened? I don't know. I don't pay attention. I, I know he's not. Oh, they're talking he, about trade. That's yeah, right. he's talking about him. trade. He is not, and nor has he ever lived up to I the billing of being the number one pick. Yeah. No, I agree. I, I, agree. I was like, why did you pick this guy number one? Oh, well, you know, he's dynamic in the offensive dynamic player in the West. You know, you don't look at it. You don't see him because – He's on the West Coast, and everybody uh, out here is lit. I'm like, dude, I'm up watching these games. Right. I watch these games. This, this guy is not a number one pick. No, he wasn't. You mentioned uh, you mentioned Denver. What do you think of that team right now? I think it's a nice young team. I think they lack um, – the only thing that they lack is, is veterans. You know, you, you need a veteran player – if you look at all these teams, they it's all have like it. that poking the cold thing. Get yeah. the young boys. Yeah, you need, if you don't have the right type of coach that knows how to um, inspire, I mean, I know it's hard to say that you should be a professional athlete and need to be inspired. Why? I mean, you're at the top, but it's sometimes, funny. I mean, these are they're still kids. You it's still funny. need to figure out how to push their buttons to get them to do what you want to do. And if you and, and if your coaching ability isn't Given you that, you normally lean on veterans to do that for you. But if you have a coach who can't stroke their um, stroke their passion button, and you don't have any veterans, right? And I don't, I don't see you. Yeah, you yeah, know, I mean, when it sucks. comes down into this is still early in the season. When it comes down into that group of games where it's the the forties, fifties, sixties part of the game over the, the season, the second, third, or yeah. the, the the third. You have the, the, end, the, season. the end middle or the yeah. beginning of the end of the season. That's when it's really all going to play. And you're going to start to see the Clippers start to slide. You're going to see Denver slide. I think the Clippers slide out of the playoffs. I I think Denver don't stays. Think, I don't think, I think Denver, Denver slides out the playoffs. I think they stay in. Yeah, I think they stay in. Um, out of like sixth. I think they'll, I think they'll, they'll finish seven. like sixth or seventh. <clears throat> what yeah. do you think of L.A.? I know your team's L.A. What do, you, what do you think? What's going on? Over? I think they're one trade away. As far as but, but who do you give key, up on that but team? that's the key. Who do you give up? I mean, if you give up somebody good, you're giving up somebody good, but you're opening possibilities of bringing maybe two players in for key key areas. The name that I'm hearing is Anthony Davis. Wow, you talk about a super team. Like that's the you're talking about a super team. You're gonna to have to give up two to get him. Oh yeah, he's but who are you gonna give up? Yeah, what two? What two's really gonna pull Anthony Davis? I mean, you're gonna you're gonna need. Well, one, I don't think he. If they're still losing by. No, I'm not saying he wants to stay there. What I'm saying is, what two can? What two is New Orleans as an organization? Well, you're gonna take for him. You're gonna to have to give up one of your starters. Yeah, definitely. And is it Paul gonna go? It's not going to be Ball because Ball's their point guard of the future. Magic believes in him, and you're not going to put that team in Rondo's hands. Regardless if LeBron likes him or not, LeBron has a more favor towards LeBron. Uh, I don't like Rondo, man. I'm not. I mean, I just the, don't like him. I'm, don't not, like I'm him. not a real big fan, never have been, but, I mean, he's one of those veteran guys. He's that, a vet. Yeah. You know what I mean, but I still don't think that you. he's at this point in his career – He's ready to, that he can be the point guard that that team needs to be. Right. Uh, Magic and LeBron are grooming Ball into being what they want him to be. So I don't think he's a piece that's that's expendable. Okay. I think it's going to probably uh, be Martellius Caldwell Pope, and you're going to have to either give up. You're going to give up your your backup. Uh, you're going to have to either give up oh, Kuzman. There you go. Or you're awesome. going to have to give up Ingram. Uh, in that side, in that sense of the trade, if New Orleans was smart, they'd be pulling. Um, uh, what the last uh, last name last name you gave Ingram? Ingram, yes, yes. I'm sorry, but they're not going to give up Ingram, so I think it'll be Kuzma who leaves. 
I think it'll be Kuzma and Martavius Caldwell Pope. Maybe uh, somebody from their you know, like draft pick gets it. Maybe if if it's a draft pick, it'll be two. But I don't think the Lakers really have any draft. They don't, really have you know, I don't think they have any bargaining chips for draft picks at the moment. So I mean, they don't have enough on their bench to give up for Anthony. Yeah, and. The Pelicans are not going to let him are not going to let him get away for free. No, like uh, Pacers in Oklahoma City pretty much did. Yeah, I don't see that type of trade happening. No, uh, but that's the name that I'm hearing. I think it'll be a good move from what they have. Even if they do give up one of those those players, I just don't see them giving up Ingram. So I think it'll be Kuzma, maybe Martez Cabral Pope. Maybe some money, you know, yeah. but I don't see Anthony Davis finishing as a Pelican at the end of the year. So and if he gets over there, they're probably going to finish fourth in the West. Okay. This year, you're saying? This year. Okay. Well, kind of going back to John's question, um, I, I, I'm going to assume since he threw out the Raptors there, I'm going to assume he's talking about the whole league, not just the West, right? And what do you think? Um, it can be either or. Okay. Either or. So, I mean, if it's the whole league, I'd go Toronto. Man, as of right now, as of right now, yes, still like Boston. I was, was going to say, Boston still got the East. They still got the still. team to. to there's more. There's more. There's some. There's some trade bait out there, even coming yeah. out of the wet, out of the East. You got the just debacle of a team going on in Washington. I think both of those guys are up. You know, um, and it sucks for Bradley Bill because I think he's the quieter of the two. Uh, yeah. I don't think he's the one causing the problems. problems. Yeah. I think Wall is the problem, Wall's but the they're issue. both going to be traded. Mm. I don't think either one of them stays there. If they were That's, smart, they'd keep Bill. If you get if you get rid of Wall and Bill's still there, who's to say that that doesn't fix the problem and Bill comes out and starts hooping? But Bill, but Bradley's been hooping the whole time. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying, make it his team. I don't know if he's a, a number one guy. You got if you get rid of Wall and you keep Bill, you make him a number one guy, and he evolves. But I not everybody is a number one guy. I think he's. I think he's a sidekick. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. Okay, keep your sidekick and find your number one, or just trade them both and start over. Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna send them? You gonna send them to the west? You can send them anywhere. You can send them to the east. You can send them to Who's the west. Who's going? Well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Fit. There's a lot of places that would that would take Bill. I don't think LA would be a fit for Bill. I'd like Sacramento for Bill. I like. Um, Vlad is still doing some crazy shit up there. But he's doing some stuff. He's doing some nice stuff. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> he's trying to get them back to when what was the Weber? The Weber days when he was Weber, playing with them. Yeah, it was the Weber bloody um, uh, uh, white uh, chocolate. Pe uh, Petro uh, Petrovich. Sasha. Yeah. Sasha. Yeah, there you go. Um, One white chocolate with him. Yep. Yep. Jason Williams. Yep. Smoothest white dude. Man. That's Pistol Pete boy. Man, say <laughs> you're in the ass, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you had and you had the worst. The, the the NBA's version of Chris Collinsworth and Chris Webber. Oh, man. <laughs> How about that? Look, this look who's in. Look who shows up. Sean. How about them Cowboys? You Bro, missed the football segment. You missed it, but I'll we, we got time to possibly go back later. No. Nope. <laughs> fly Eagles, fly Eagles. He's going to have to go back and watch it later. Yeah. Anyway, yes, as you can see, we're taping Turk now. Lou, yes, oh, Turk Lou, Turk Lou, yes. Man, three-point shot off. Yeah, Point. you had Turk Lou, and you had, um, not Petrovic, but you had. Um, Petrovic? No, the funny wind-up. Damn, he oh, played with them. He was like this. What oh, was his man. Name? Not Turk Lou. Throwing out, folks. No, Turk Lou didn't, didn't shoot like that. Turk Lou didn't shoot like that. Who was it? Stoyakovic. Was it Stoyakovic? Pajor Stoyakovic. Was it? Yes. He played with them because he had the little team? funny. Yes, he was with Weber and them. And did Sacramento. They, they didn't go to the finals that year, though, did they? they no, the because they had to get to LA. They had, yeah, they got to the semis. And that was the year the Pacers went, right? 2004 ish? Yeah. 
Yeah, no, well, Sacramento was good like for three or four different years. They just couldn't get past, couldn't get past LA. They couldn't get past LA. Same way Scotty Pippen and Portland couldn't get past LA. Yeah. You know, I'm t- Paige. Yes, yeah. Paige's yeah. story, Akovich. I'm, I'm going to say right now, it, man, it's hard to not say that Houston's still not going to come back and. And Houston's done. You give the run, but hey. Chris Paul can't stay healthy. Chris Paul's not going to be they there. They gave up too much of their defensive players. Chris Paul's, I don't, not, Chris Paul's not going to be there long. I don't know, man. I mean, at this point, who's going to who's going to take him? That's the reason why he's still in, in in Houston. I don't know. I want Vince Carter. I want Vince Carter to come to Indy because he's still playing. And he's still. I'm sure he said never could point. beat Shaq, never yeah. could bear Shaq, but I'm sure he says John. Beat. John Wayne wants to bear hug Shaq. Yeah. You're, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of short. You might get thumped in the head by something you don't want to get thumped in the head. By. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Wrong turn. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. The, I think in the in the NBA as a whole, I think Toronto will be your second. Your second pick as of right now. Well, I'm still saying um, Boston. In the West, as of right now. I'm still saying Boston, no, because it not right now matter. It doesn't matter right now who's going to – his question was, who's going to be the second behind the Warriors this year? This year means the playoffs. Who's going to be in the playoffs? Who's going to be in the finals? Who's going to give a, a shot at beating the Warriors? That's what he was asking. I'm getting deep on your ass. The ass going on that ass. <laughs> Stay away from my ass, ass. I ain't touching your ass. <laughs> um, I still. I know. I, I, Sean, he said, he said Pacers is one of the teams, he, a few teams he didn't play for. I know. I'd love to see Vince Carter. The, the one of the two reasons that I became a Carolina fan come to Indy. Best college dunker of all time. Hey. I posted that by the way. I'm just the the dunk, the two fa- my two favorite dunks from Vince Carter was the one where he threw his arm halfway through the rim, mm-hmm. and then number one of all time is the Olympics. Mm-hmm. Like we were talking about that last week, I mm-hmm. think. Man, that, that was mm-hmm. I don't know. I remember my first Vince Carter dunk. I was in my dorm room. You remember that long ago? <laughs> That's funny. I was in my dorm room in Paris Junior College. We were watching the North Carolina-Texas game. Texas had a superstar freshman themselves by the name of Chris Clack. They were playing in, we were playing in Texas. So you had the big longhorn in the uh, in the middle of the floor. Yep. Vince Carter was kind of almost Kobe-ish when his exhibition game, when he crossed over a guy at the top of the key. Well, Vince Carter crossovers the guy at the top of the key and goes right down the middle of the lane, hits chest to chest at the dots with Chris Clack, and he kind of like went like four feet more and just dunked on him and said, this is the best dunk I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so that's my favorite one. He's and then the 360 man. reverse windmill. That was good. That was the dunk contest. Right? Yeah. That was the dunk contest. Yes, that was yeah. good. Right. That was 360 good. reverse windmill, which – you still also think gave you me Paul over? George, but they Paul George my favorite player right when he now. Did that, when he did when that, he did that, that after yeah. the broken leg, that was yeah. amazing. He's like, I don't I'm care. back. Yeah, I'm back. I was there, and he was. But I, he's just not fitting in yeah. over there at Oklahoma City. Who is it? Well, he is, but who is it? He is. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like it. I just don't like seeing Paul George. I mean, I was a Paul George fan. I liked him. I still am. <laughs> That's the hell. You anyway, know what I mean? Anyway. Him and Russell over and lighting it up. <laughs> John, my man, John Wayne. Buzzer. I am. I like that. John Wayne. I do. I I, I mean, I like John the person. Wayne. Buzzer. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I like Boston. I mean, I, I have Boston coming out the East. I still have them coming out the East to play in the finals, but I still think Toronto – um, as of the way those two teams are playing, is the second best team in the league. Do they have any room to add a key? Oh, Toronto. Toronto? 
I think they're fine right where they are. I mean, maybe like a seventh man type key. But they got, I mean, they go nine, ten deep. They do, but I'm saying if you get. Okay, never mind. You answer my question. I mean, if you it ain't, so. no. yeah. if it ain't good, mind. don't fix it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think they're doing pretty well. You know, I think there's. Zion is not Vince Carter. Sorry. No. Zion no. is not Vince Carter. He might dunk more, but Vince, Vince dunks are more impactful. Hold on. I'm sorry. John Wayne. Hit the button. John, John no, Wayne. shut up. John, John, uh-oh, what happened? Oh, you ain't got no power. There we go. There, there, a little, a little. Yeah. All right, John Wayne. Yeah, yeah. buzz it. Hit the button. Shut up, John. <laughs> What, what, what happened? What happened? Zay, Zion. Hey, the kid can, he's got phenomenal bounce. You know what I mean? For his size, he's got phenomenal bounce. He does. I mean, he's, he's what, what six? Here, folks? Yeah, I can't hear you. I know. What's going on? Now I can hear you now. You can? Yeah. Uh, through here? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Sorry, folks. We had a de- little technical difficulty. Not sure what's going on. Okay. And talk. I'm talking. Yeah, I hear you. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I don't hear myself then. Uh, you right. just, you're kind of dull. Okay. Yeah, I'm real dull. You need to check your connection. I'm connected, brother. He's connected. I'm connected. I'm connected. I'm connected. All right. Okay. Now, back to who the hell we were talking about. Okay. I don't know. I said Zion is not Vince Carter. Yeah, Zion is not. Vince Carter, but he is a phenomenal athlete. I mean, I even play football. <laughs> wow. But no, he's yeah. Of a receiver. Uh, Sean says we hear you good, so it's just us good. on this side. Thank you. No, and in fact, Zion is not even the best player on that team. That's what's amazing. Uh, don't worry, we'll talk. <laughs> Basically, Sean's gonna let you have it. No, man, you need to read shit right. He says, "Don't worry, talk," as in, "Don't worry, just talk." That's what he was saying. You know what? I don't like your attitude. <laughs> I like John. When you tell John Wayne to shut it, your mic turns off. I like that. That is amazing. I like that. <laughs> uh, so we're in the NBA still. We, we can talk college. College, we can talk college. That's fine. Uh, we got a new top five. Then not well, no, nope, the same as last week. Well, no, nope, it's a new top five because Michigan has moved up into the top five. So you got Gonzaga number one. You got Kansas number two. Duke at number three. Virginia number four, and Michigan at number five. So your undefeated teams out of that are the Gonzaga, the Assitude, the that's, that's got, awesome. <laughs> that's good. You see his name? <laughs> you, can, you can post anything you want, Sean. It's Cowboy Fever. So back to what we were talking about. Uh, out of those top five teams, who's the hottest team right now? Out of those top five in the college? Yep. It's hard to not say Kansas. <laughs> You're an ass. Uh, wasn't Kansas, wasn't Kansas number one like twice and then got jumped twice? Yep. All right. Honestly, unfortunately for me, because I didn't didn't think that they were real this year, I'm Gonzaga, man. Gonzaga's tough. I told you. I told you Gonzaga was how uh, they got the little Japanese boy. I think he, how do you get this mix? Please, I'm not being racist. I don't care. How do you get this mix? <laughs> Haitian and Japanese. I'm gonna guess foreign exchange student. Well, obviously he went to Japan because I'm not seeing them going to Asia. Haitia. Haiti. <laughs> Haitia. <Wow. laughs> I'm just saying, no one exchanges to Haiti. You know those emojis that I be posting on there like this? Yes, I agree with you, Sean. Maze and Blue, hottest team in college basketball right now. It's hard to not say Gonzaga, man. Yeah, they are currently 9 0. We beat Villanova by 30 in Villanova. 
beat Carolina by 16 and was up by 25 at one point. And we're no better. You got your ass whipped. Yes, we <laughs> As Stone Cold Steve Austin said, you got your ass whipped. <laughs> but they almost lost last night to Northwestern. They did. Yeah, but they won. They're undefeated. They're a top five team. And I don't see them losing for a while. We got another we got another Canadian. You know, I'm not a real big fan of flying of flying other countries' flags in our country. Not to say I'm you can fly your flag, whatever. But this guy <laughs> with this damn maize and blue Canadian flag is amazing. I'm the ass, folks. <laughs> My wife calls me the black Archie Bunker. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what I mean? I'd be a perfect South Park character because I hit all of them. <laughs> the blacks, the whites. <laughs> I don't really know for the Jews too much because, you know, it's kind of borderline. That, yeah. They had a lot going on. <laughs> Not to say that us colors didn't have a lot going on, but I think the Jews kind of got hit kind of hard, so I'm going to leave him alone a bit. <laughs> so, anyway, going back, John Wayne. <laughs> Buzzer <laughs> asked same question who's second fiddle to Michigan? Man, I'm gonna go are Gonzaga. Talking, are we talking? Hold on, are we talking about the Big Ten? Are we talking about overall? That's what I before we answer that question, we go on. Well, it's not for do. I'm just no, I'm just <laughs> asking, is it Big Ten or overall? Let's see your answer on that before we go any further on that comment. So, okay, move, move on before John Wayne Buzzer. gets back to us. He might end up being a button when we get a button on the soundboard. I like that. You like <laughs> might go famous. You're not getting paid, though. We'll give you a half hour spot on the show. John Wayne. <laughs> Buzzer. <I like> it. <laughs> He's got a couple buzzards, too. <laughs> we got a good game going on in uh, Philly. Well, they're playing in Toronto. They're yeah. in Toronto, eh? They are. Hell, I don't know. The teams wear it any kind of color nowadays. Toronto. Yeah. Toronto. I always like the Raptor type deal. I think they needed to do more with the Velociraptor thing, though. That was when they first came out, right? Yeah. That, that jersey right? might have been their best jersey with the yeah, with, with the, the Raptor on the. Yeah, that was hot. Yeah. He says MSU. Did that answer our question? John Wayne? Well, I guess he's saying for the big buzzer. But I guess we're, I guess he's saying MSU for the Big Ten. Okay, so we're talking about the Big Ten, and I'm going to say IU. Right now, right now, I'm going to say Michigan State, but I still have IU as um, as my dark horse Final Four team. Lang Langford's going to grow pretty quickly. It all depends on Morgan's injury. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw he got hurt the last game, and I haven't really looked much else into it. But I think it depends on his injury how far they go. See, I'm cutting in and out. My bad, guys. Uh, um, I was say, John, I was saying, are we talking Big Ten? On your question, from the second fiddle to Michigan, are we talking about Big Ten only, or are we talking about overall? If we're talking about Big Ten, I'm going to go with IU. If we're talking about overall, I'm going to stick with Gonzaga. However, I've been saying Florida State from the start, and I'm going to still say watch out for Florida State. Florida State does look good. I think people are still overlooking their uh, number four, Virginia. Um, they, still, they still see the fact that they lost. They were the first number one seed to lose to a 16 last year. But we still have to look at the fact that their best player did not play. He got hurt right before the tournament. I think that had a, a, a big deal into that. He is back 100%, and they do look good. Uh, the thing with Virginia is you're not going to get – there you go. You better? Am I better? Yeah. A little bit better? Yeah. There you're go. not going to get a, an up-and-down game with Virginia. Virginia is a possession-based uh, offense where they're going to move the ball around, kind of like Wisconsin. They're going to move the ball around for 20, 30 seconds to get the shot that they want uh, to help you make a mistake so you're not going to see a lot of 80, 70, 80, 90-point games with it. So they're gonna they're gonna kind of put you to sleep type basketball, but they're gonna win a lot of games. I think they're the third best team in the ACC, but they Florida do. State. 
Who's talking no, about Virginia. Virginia, okay. I think it's I think it's Duke. We're still talking about Virginia. <laughs> I think it's Duke. Well, they are the number one four team in the country, so they the number one four team. The number the four team. Number one <laughs> four team, folks. Right. So when you have that one <laughs> so when you have four number four, four seeds, four number fours, so the number one, number four. Makes no <laughs> sense, but okay. Right. We'll go with it. <laughs> so, um, uh, to answer his question, I agree with you on Michigan State being number two in the Big Ten, but in uh, in overall, I think it has to be Gonzaga as the number two headline story team, headline story right now in college basketball. Um, that very well can change. A lot of these teams are really starting to get ready to get into their conference plays. Still a couple of non-conference games out there, but most most of them are starting to get into conference play. The Big Ten has already started conference play, and Michigan right. already sit play, and Michigan already sits at top at two and zero. Oh. Angie needs another one, folks. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody, we're I know I'm going. Everybody, we're having a good time at the tavern, eight hundred two Southwest Street, Indianapolis, Caddy Court, one block actually, and that's all, folks. One block from the stadium, we all pay taxes on here in Indy. Yeah, um, I guess we can talk real quick about what we had go down last weekend. It was the uh, here in Indianapolis, we had the Big Ten Championship game. Yep, you were down. Um, yes, I was. was I was. Yep. We were downtown at the um, Big Ten Fan Fest. Yep. Uh, the AAU club that our daughters play for, kinda. Your daughter <laughs> plays for my daughter. Was invited. Yeah. Was in. Should be still doing the training. She will. She will. But <laughs> she will. So Mom, I, mom's got to step up too. Yeah. Little, yes, mom. For, yes, mom it's does. A, it's a little hard for us East Sider folks to get back up north at five thirty for practice. Uh, I'm West Side, so I don't want to hear the crap. <laughs> Your daughter lives up five minutes away. That's, that's when she's not with me. I'm not talking about when she's not with me. But anyway, anyway. Um, Indiana girls basketball, where our daughters are involved in for AU basketball. <laughs> they had an opportunity to play uh, some exhibition games downtown at the Indy Fan Fest, so their program was showcased, so to speak. Uh, I think the girls did have fun. Okay. They they were kind of mixed in with the eighth and seventh grade, so they didn't like put their actual teams together. Right, they were so just playing. Yeah, just a little experts yeah. game, and they drew a little crowd. You know, what I mean, they had three games, so you had six teams. So um, that shows you the growth of the program. Oh, so but, every team, you you said six teams. Yeah, they had six teams. They okay. divided all the girls okay. into six teams. Yeah. Okay. And they had a couple of good exhibition games, and they drew a crowd. A lot of these fans that were there for OSU and Northwestern um, paid attention to the girls playing ball, and they put on a nice display. We are still, regardless of what anybody says about Indiana, I mean, in general, we're still a basketball school. Uh, basketball yeah, and, we can, and if you have any questions that Indianapolis can host major events, oh. um, we've proven it. Too many times. Too many, way too many times. You know, folks. we've had to find a four. Oh, hey, 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 hey folks, there you go. back. <laughs> uh, we've hosted the final four quite a few times. We've had the Super Bowl. We've done the Pan Am games. I also heard that there's, is it 2022 or 23 that the national title is coming here for football? Wow. I heard that. I don't know if it's true or not, so don't don't quote me on it, but I heard that. Wow. Just a couple of days ago. That's pretty big because they tend to stay south and west. I know, I know. I don't know, but I mean, we tend to, we tend to draw them in. We put on a pretty good show. Yeah. Um, the way our downtown is set up, I mean, it's perfect anywhere. for them. You can get to anywhere on foot. Yeah. And if not, Uber's all over. Please. Yeah. So, um, I think they did a really good job. You know, the fans seem to have been. Well, um, yeah, of course. The the Indy Five Hundred. Come on, now we put that on for a hundred and some years now. What is it? One hundred three years. Uh, is it one hundred fourth now? One hundred four. Yeah. Well, coming up. Yeah. Okay. One hundred fifth. Fourth, or fifth, something like that. I don't know. I would just get credit that I knew that it was over a hundred. 
damn it. Because Damon does not believe that racing is a sport, folks. It's not. Carb day is more of a sport than the race is. Carb, <laughs> carb day is a drinking sport. Sport. <laughs> so it just goes by so fast. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> Again, we're gonna have to drive this year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, we got Christy. Uber. Uber to Damon's house. He's close. Wow. No, not yeah. anymore. I can Uber to my house. No, I'd still Uber to your house. Still Uber to my house. Compared to mine? Well, yeah. Yeah. Uber's not expensive. I don't, I don't care. care. I don't know. I don't care. No Uber's picking up my big black ass. Why? Let's see me come out. I'm like, oh, no. 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 <laughs> You're not going to murder and eat my flesh. I'm with you, Chris. <laughs> Racing is a sport. Yeah, all right. <laughs> they do more than just turn left, but I am more of a... Yes, they wear a diaper and piss on themselves. <laughs> well, yeah, you obviously... Hell, it's hard for me to hold a piss for uh, an hour and a half, and I just did it. Yeah. Well, I've to say said you're it before. If out. you want to excite me, turn right. <laughs> <laughs> they do. It's called road courses. <laughs> it's called, hey, car meet the wall, wall meet the car. It's not a game. <laughs> it is a sport. It's a hobby. It is a spectacle sport. <laughs> it's a hobby. Why are you pointing at me? Who's <laughs> <laughs> oh, looking at the screen and you're doing this? Oh, you, you, oh. you got like, what are you? Oh, we're shaking. Yeah. No, no, there ain't no weed on this one. I wasn't touching it. That was you. Ooh. <laughs> all right so we're winding down yes we appreciate all you guys joining us in mm -hmm. in studio here at the tavern 802 southwest street indianapolis and at home from your own couch chair love seat bed bathtub wherever the hell you're watching us as long as you don't electrocute yourself we do not recommend laptops in the bathtub no no <laughs> They, they make these things called, like, trays or something to go over your bathtub. Now. I don't even want it over the water. I, I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I'm with, I don't take bath. I don't have a bathtub big enough for my ass. Dude, if I could fit in a bathtub, I would get my... Dude, it'll ooh, heart, I you have a hot tub. tub. <laughs> talking about? What do you need a bathtub for, man? Because get I don't want to wash in a hot tub. Well, you don't wash in the tub. Take anyway, a shower. So right. I don't wash. I don't want to sit there in I my... I got some knees. Right. I got knee pain. Oh, man. Back pain. Back pain. Speaking of back pain, Damon, where do we go for our back pain? Uh, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> my back hurts. Baby, please. Man, at least you mm, baby, please. I get I get a minute and a half of this. <laughs> and my hands hurt. <laughs> well, yeah, a minute and a half went down the. 30 seconds. Oh, hell, I last longer than she does rubbing me. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, that was a good one. I'm sorry, folks. I don't care who you are. I thought it was funny. <laughs> well, <laughs> again, this is black and white sports. I'm the one. <laughs> this is the ass, and we are at the tavern. Yes. We're here every Wednesday from 730. Sorry, folks. I'm jiggling. Jiggling, baby. We're here every Wednesday from 7.30 to 9 to talk about sports. Live. And remember, on Tuesdays, it's Taco Tuesdays. Wednesdays, it's the Black and White Burger Special. And speaking um, up, before we go any further on that, we want your opinions on what the Black and White Burger should be, folks. Give us some suggestions. We will take the top, uh, what, top three? Top three. Top three and then do a poll. Yeah, we'll take the top three suggestions. Do a poll after next show. So you got till uh, next Wednesday at 729 to let us know what you think our black and white burger should be on Wednesday nights at the tavern. I don't like blue cheese. So if you put blue cheese on there, it's gonna get ixnay on the Upit stay. Yeah, you can get not on not on burgers. Not on burgers. Mm -hmm. Wife likes it like a blue, whatever. But anyway, so uh, <laughs> Doctor said I need a back out of me. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm impotent. All right. So uh, real quick, uh, next couple of weeks is going to be real busy for everybody. You got the Christmas holiday and the New Year holiday coming up. Yep. We will be here on the day after Christmas, which is the 26th. 
Uh, and we also will be here the day after New Year's, which will be the second. Yep. So and we'll be here every Wednesday leading up to those dates. Right. So, um, yeah, and I bumped it again, which I didn't even touch that tape. It ain't even me doing it this time. So, um, again, uh, if you we're here to talk about sports, if you got anything that's current or just any relevant sports topic that you'd like to hear us discuss, hit us up on the page, uh, Black and White Sports on Facebook. We got uh, BW. On Twitter, BW Sports One, <laughs> at BW Sports Damon, and at BW Sports Dan. Check us out on uh, Friday nights. We'll usually let this show go out on iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and soon we might have a couple of uh, like little special, special shows during the week coming up here soon. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. Sounds good. Wonderful. From the one, from the ass, from the ass. We're Black and White Sports, and Damon, what do we do every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock? We always keep it classy. And, and then we hit the, and we hit the button. button.